Nine of the 10 people uh, that we've identified that have very good knowledge with respect to the Bidens, they're, they're one of three things, Maria. They're either currently in court, they're currently in jail, or they're currently missing. They fear for their lives. Not only are the Biden lawyers and the Biden White House intimidating them, the media is trying to intimidate and discredit them. This is very serious accusations here. That was House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer on Sunday Morning Futures with me yesterday, revealing that the White House is intimidating informants in his investigation into the Biden family's influence peddling schemes. Meanwhile, a new report finds several of the 51 former intelligence officials who signed that letter trying to discredit the Biden laptop donated to either President Biden, his 2020 campaign, or other Democrats. So the whole thing is so disturbing. Monica, I want to just point out that Marjorie Taylor Greene says that the whistleblower for Joe Biden is not missing. But yesterday, it wasn't the whistleblower who James Comer said is missing. He said that the informant is missing. So we're still trying to get more information on where, what are the whereabouts of the informant in this important investigation and who specifically in the White House is intimidating potential witnesses. Your reaction? It's just incredible, Maria. I saw your interview yesterday with Chairman Comer. And if what he is saying is true, and we have no, you know, no, no reason to doubt what he is saying here, but everything that he laid out indicates that the Biden White House, the Biden attorneys, are essentially operating as an organized crime syndicate, putting pressure on witnesses, intimidating them into silence, and, and getting them to back off. Look, all they are trying to do here is excavate the depth of corruption of Joe Biden and his family. And they've made tremendous headway in terms of hard evidence showing that perhaps the sitting president of the United States as vice president, and God knows what he's doing now, um, was engaged in a criminal bribery scheme. That's what we're talking about here. And so to really put the pressure and muscle on these witnesses is completely unacceptable and outrageous. And this is also something that now needs to be investigated, and I hope they go down that avenue. Yeah, I mean, Chris, one of the more troubling areas of this is the media's response to this. I mean, Chairman Comer said uh, that uh, they have evidence that Joe Biden, when he was vice president, was involved in a quid pro quo with a foreign company in exchange for foreign aid. He kept saying in the Obama administration, I'm told, that he wanted to be in charge of foreign aid which is just extraordinary. These are some of the most severe and serious allegations ever leveled at a president. And Chris, the mainstream media will not report any of it. Yeah, it's the old, uh, if a tree falls in the woods and nobody's there to hear it, does it make a sound? And that's the big concern right now, is the fact that we've got a situation that's, that's taking place, okay, where, again, media's missing. No one wants to follow up on this stuff. And I'm afraid that the general public is going to get almost uh, corruption fatigue when it comes to this. He mentioned yesterday in your interview, fantastic interview, was the fact that how long this is going to take. And I think the longer that this drags out, little by little, if we can't get to these informants or witnesses, the worse off it's going to be for the Republicans. Um, and, and again, dragging this out, good for Biden, quite frankly. Yeah, because the DOJ is going to just try to slow walk this as they've slowed walked so many other investigations, Monica, like the Russia collusion story. Yes, exactly. And again, this points to the depth of corruption throughout all of our institutions, Maria, but in particular, our premier law enforcement agencies like the DOJ and FBI. They have long been protecting Joe Biden, certainly Hunter and the rest of his family. This is more evidence of this. And to your point and Chris's point, when you enjoy the protection of the propaganda press in this country, you can literally get away with criminal bribery like this and so much more. It's disgusting. Really, really disturbing.